Hello, my name is Doug Hubble and welcome to Astrophotography Tutorials. Want to talk about this Moonlight Focuser I just got. This is uh, going to be installed on this Orion ED80T. Before we install this, let's go ahead and take a, a look at it. Uh, this particular piece is a well-crafted uh, piece of art. It really is very nice. Uh, once you look and feel these moonlight focusers, you can feel the quality that's uh, built into it. Ron at uh, Moonlight uh, just does a fabulous job of creating custom uh, focusers for uh, all types of telescopes. Uh, if you look at the back side right here, uh, we can see that it says uh, moonlight right there along the, uh, the top there. And then also right here, it's this, this particular model it has the, uh, the, the high resolution stepper motor with power slip clutch and it says moonlight there and it also says moonlight here now this model that I have is a, uh, a two inch model it's got compression fittings around here that that hold the uh, 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 this one and a quarter eyepiece in there but you pull that off and then uh, you can have a two inch focuser tube on it. Uh, this particular focuser uh, has a uh, four and a half inch uh, draw tube on it. Uh, also if you take a look here, you notice this uh, for the 1.25 on the side here, there's like a little cutout right here where, where this slides in and it's, you know, like I said, everything on this is just screams quality. Now you can get these uh, focusers uh, and any kind of color. Uh, I chose to get the, uh, the green and uh, you can you know pick any color you'd like. Uh, another uh, uh, kind of neat feature that uh, Ron does for these moonlight focusers is you get uh, your choice of, of mounting uh, finder brackets. You know you get uh, uh, duels and you get Lozmondi uh, and a couple other styles of there. So make sure you check out his website for all the different options that you can get there. Also what it has here is uh, this top uh, set screw that will give you the rotation that you need to uh, rotate the, the whole focuser if you need to do that. Uh, also on the, the bottom of the uh, focuser here is a, uh, a, a tightening screw. That's coming in at uh, an even four pounds. Brian ED80TCF and I'm going to uh, put the focuser on here. It's not that big of a deal. Uh, the way that you install this focuser, as you can see, it has this uh, uh, back flange and what happens is, is when I start turning this from the back flange like that, I think it's going to come off that way. So let's give it a shot and yep there it is it, it came right off uh, we'll just kind of clean that up a little bit right there it's got like that you know carbon fiber on there just make sure there's any dust on it is to take the uh, focuser and put it on top after you set it down like this and then get the thread started that way I'm going to tighten this uh, rotation knob here too, so give me a little bit extra grip to get that started. Yeah. And yeah, that's that's the trick right there, is turning the scope upside down and then putting the focuser on directly on top of it, so it uh, gets a nice good start there on the uh, threads. And now that I've got the, uh, it's just it has to be hand tight, nothing really big and. and spectacular on there uh, so there you go I mean really super easy to install uh, I'll take this little cap out of this focuser here and it didn't come with the cap uh, with this uh, scope I mean with this focuser so I'll just put that inside there for comparison we'll uh, take the old focuser and we'll put that on the scale and, and do that as a weight comparison and remember the uh, moonlight weighed in at uh, four pounds 
and what do we got here? 2.6 for the stock focuser. Focus controller and uh, this particular uh, focus controller that I have right here is an older version of uh, the Moonlight uh, focuser controller. The newer one has two ports where you can control two uh, telescope focusers at the same time. Uh, this older version that I have, you know, it still does work. Uh, the, all it is, it's very simple. You know, you have like a, a, a fast and a and a slow mo option on the buttons here. But uh, the thing is, is you really don't use this part of the the focuser. I mean, it's nice to see it uh, as you're uh, pushing the buttons in and out. You can see the the steps on there. Uh, and it also has the uh, you know the temperature readout there as well, but uh, the focuser controllers if you buy these new, uh, they start out at about two hundred and fifty dollars, and so like when you just to kind of review the the pricing of this particular focuser, you have the focuser itself which is uh, two hundred and seventy five dollars, and in the focuser, it it comes in the colors of red, black, blue green, violet, and gold, and the high speed, or excuse me, the high resolution stepper motor on here, that is an optional item, and this is another $190, so if you were to look at this, this fo complete focuser option, like the one I have right now on this telescope, this is a $465 uh, focuser. And if you add a controller, you could be talking another $250 on top of that. But I'll tell you, the, the uh, quality of this particular focuser is, is really superb. Uh, I, I, this is actually my second one. I have it for another telescope as well. Uh, I highly recommend the Moonlight if you're in looking for a new focuser. Well, you made it this far. You might as well subscribe. Come on, click it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you soon.